guys, welcome to Medica Girls. This is Pusha. In case you didn't recognize me with my new hair, it's been a while. I think this is the longest that I have been away from YouTube. But I'm very thankful for you guys for supporting me and still watching my videos. And yes, welcome to all the new admissions in medical colleges. Like, welcome. Enjoy, study really well, and make yourself and your parents proud. That's all I have to say. Yeah, and it's gonna take time to settle, so don't worry. It's fine. We all have went through that phase, and you guys will get out of it better and beautifully. So, in today's video, I'm going to talk about things I wish I knew in my first year. So let's begin. Number one, take all the exams, tests, items, everything that happens in the first year of your medical college very seriously because they do not have record of your results that has happened in their own college according to their standards and their circumstances. So all the results that you have given them is not the results or the exams that have taken place in your medical college. So they are constantly trying to recognize you through your personality, whether you are a hardworking student or not, whether you are good at studies or not. I mean, all those who get admitted to medical colleges are good students, but whether you are hardworking or not, whether you are disciplined or not, you know, to, you know, just categorize students, they take all of this very seriously because it's the first exam that you give, right? So make sure to be giving 100% in those exams if you get more than 100% for sure. But yeah, at least try your best because they are gonna judge you by those results because they, they don't know you, okay? They, you are like 19, 20 years old. People just got admitted in this new medical college. So they just want to know what kind of student you are. So try to give your best. Don't say that, oh my God, this is just a test. No. And especially if you guys don't know because you are in first year in Bangladesh, there is this eligibility thing happening. So you want to give professional exam, right? So make sure you take all the tests, all the exams very seriously because that's how you are going to be judged, right? Never second, don't get overwhelmed. Okay, so when you get admitted to medical school, you see your senior studying all night, you know, you hear item, oh, tumor's item, tumor's this, you find out there's so many books and so many things to study and you are like oh my god i can't study mbbs i am done it's like you know you can go through a lot so don't it's okay okay you will get time to settle there because first year is one and a half years right so you get time to settle there you will get time to learn things and yeah you will slowly understand that in medical colleges uh, there's a classification of the whole syllabus into must to know good to know and better to know so must to know you have to know and good to know it's like it's good if you know and better to know it's better if you know so it's not that you have to read everything from everything okay just don't worry you are gonna get through this you just don't have to give up you will find your way through experiences don't stop studying study every day you don't even have to study a lot three four hours a day in first year will work so yeah do that now let's go to number three and i name it role of seniors so seniors are those who have been in your medical colleges for two three four years and they know a lot about how things work in that college how are the teachers how are the you know departments what are the preferences of the departments and everything and when you know that which means you are one step ahead especially your immediate senior and their immediate senior your immediate senior has you know majority of them have finished all the terms cards and items which means they are going to teach you how to reach there and your 
immediate seniors, immediate senior, those who are in third year when you just got admitted, they just finished the prof and got their results out, which means they have passed the professional exam you are aiming at. So they know all the tips, tricks, they know all the favorite questions of your teacher. They just know things which will be so much helpful to you. So make sure to have a good, what am I saying? So make sure to have a good rapport with your senior. Number four, don't wait for things to end. You know, when you are in a first year, it's so obvious that you just want this year to pass and have a junior of your own. But trust me, the first year is like the most wonderful year because you make a lot of memories. Everything is so new. Uh, you will have the best memories in your first year. So don't wait for it to end. I don't think you will uh, be back in first year um, of Amelia's ever in your life again. So enjoy these moments. Don't wait for things to end i think we have come to number five i guess okay so number five is about friendship toxicity competitiveness everything of medical school so when you first come here you will just realize that you won't have that innocence of friends anymore that we used to have in school and colleges that were you know always long lasting because everyone here is here because they have a goal and aim and they're very competitive and you know they have their own personality own point of view and they are very much um, confident in that right medical colleges can be so much more than i can tell you guys but make sure who you are where do you come from why do you come here and Keep that confidence in yourself no matter what is being thrown on you, on your face. There's going to be a lot of things that you're going to experience for the first time in your life. And, you know, don't let anything lower your standards or, you know, keep you, you know, okay yeah and make wonderful friends go out enjoy be very good with your batch people don't you you can be competitive in a very healthy way so you know have a very nice environment so in our batch you know we celebrate everyone's birthday very nicely very you know like all the batchmates come and i think this was started by sanjay so shout out to sanjay he also has a youtube channel where he basically uploads travel vlogs and all of that he recently traveled to nepal he's from south of india and but he traveled to nepal recently so if you want to watch his vlog maybe i'll link his youtube channel down below so we yeah. are so he started this whole trend of like everyone celebrating their birthday and calling the whole batch and you know i think i was the last one uh, right now so yeah it's been continuing so it was a really nice thing that he started because you know it was great i don't know whose birthday is next but yeah i'm waiting for the invitation <laughs> so yeah medical school can be a lot but you just have to learn to be like okay it's cool and just go forward with yourself and be confident don't let anything anything disturb your mental peace okay finally uh, to wrap up i like to say that you might question yourself is it was it a right decision to come to medical school was it right decision to start ambivious was it this was it that it's normal to you know ha have these things going on in your mind when you start your college and things does not turn out to be as the one that you expected you know reality and the expectation has a lot of you know differences and it's normal to feel like was my decision or you know conscious decision and was it ever worth it but trust me once you settle down 
it will be by the end of the day but stop thinking about these things a lot and constant now you are already in med school and you have to go out with an mbbs degree no matter what you do later in your life but now that you're in college you have to you know get this degree and you have to complete what you've started so just complete what you've started and you will do really well all the best and yeah if you have any problem go to the senior because they have come you know with similar experiences and they know what it feels like to be in your place so all the seniors they will help you all the seniors are really nice people everyone in med school are really nice people it's just the circumstances that make them bad uh, learn to forgive people and um, move on if you want to forget forget if you don't want to forget don't forget but learn to forgive people and move forward try to be this positive and very approachable person no matter what people think about you it's fine Bye-bye.